What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on Wing Sound. And in this tutorial, I wanna show you how to create a wobble bass in FL Studio. As you know, wobble bass is real popular in dubstep music, that's kind of like the signature sound. So what we're gonna do is create that using only FL Studio plugins. First thing you wanna do is go up to your sampler, right click on it, go to insert, and then we wanna use the 3X OSC plugin right here. Click on that. Couple things we need to do here. First thing is we want to turn the volume down all the way on the OSC3. So just turn that all the way down. Now these sound shapers here, what you want to do is just choose this one right here. And then with the OSC2, you want to choose this one that's right next to it. We got a nice grainy sound going on. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to our inserts. And then we want to come down here to your LFO. And you want to bring the attack all the way down. We're going to use the tempo based time. So this will keep in sync with the tempo as we're getting that wobble effect. It'll stay right on time. And then the filter, we just kind of just want to bring this down a little bit, probably to about halfway. Now what we want to do is we want to bring the speed up and the amount. We're going to bring that over a little bit too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the key and I'm going to play with these two buttons here and you can see we're going to get that wobble effect. Make sure you're on some lower keys so that way you can get that nice sound. Okay, that's a really slow effect. So we're going to left click and drag the speed speed up a little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? One thing you can do is if you right click on speed and go right here to set, you can do it by the steps. So you can go one, two, three, and four, and so on. So we'll just do one step right there. And then I'll hit the keys. One thing I like to do with the dubstep sounds is on my mixer, I like to put a phaser on it. Click here, and then I'm going to go to Fruity Phaser. And I'm not going to tweak any of the settings on this, but just so you can hear the difference. I'm just going to turn this phaser off real quick, and I just want to lay down a really quick pattern with this synth, and then I'm going to show you how you can automate the wobble bass effect. Now, I'm just going to switch to song mode. I'm going to hit record, and I'm using a default tempo of 140, and I'm just going to lay down just a really basic pattern here. Let me go ahead and just quantize this real quick. Click accept. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our channel settings and I'm going to record this automation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record and then as this is recording I'm going to move the speed up and down by left clicking and holding it up and down. So first we're just going to go fast and then we'll go slow. So let me just put this back at one step. Okay so now I'm just going to go ahead and hit record and we're going to record this automation here. So now when we play it back. All right, John G signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.